Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. Y'all know I love me some cobblers. And I'm going to make something different here. I never made before. I'm going to make a summer blend berry cobbler. I got these uh, berries. They had a Central Market. Y'all see that I did my little Central Market shopping spree. And I got these. It's raspberries in there. Look at them beautiful raspberries. Blackberries and strawberries. All blended, all together in one. So we're going to make a, I'm going to call it a summer berry cobbler. Or I don't know why I'm going to name this. But it has blackberries, strawberries, and raspberries. Three of my favorite berries all in one, y'all. So, yeah. I'm going to make it just like a regular cobbler. I'm going to put my berries in there. Got my pineapple juice here, y'all. Uh, butter, sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, just like I do all my little cobbler. So whatever. We're going to get started here, y'all. Very simple, very easy, y'all. And these here, I've thawed them out already. Open this bad boy up. Pour them in here and... Uh, it's gonna be awesome, man. Awesome. And I'm gonna put a few in here, y'all, and I'm gonna put a few that I'm not gonna actually cook off. I'm gonna put it afterwards. So, cause I know these are gonna break up as they're cooking. Common sense tells me that. So I'm gonna leave a few out. That's my pineapple juice, y'all. Y'all know I don't use regular water. I like to use pineapple juice. Or you can use uh, apple juice will work too if you don't have pineapple juice. Okay, we're going to turn this on. Put a little butter in here, y'all. We're going to put our vanilla last, of course. Oh, y'all, let me get, get, get going here. Get going here. Let me get my butter opened up here. And all we're gonna y'all do, y'all, we're gonna bring this to a boil. Put a little cinnamon nutmeg in there. A little cinnamon there. I like a lot of cinnamon, y'all. And just a little nutmeg. Nutmeg, a little nutmeg go a long way. Remember that. Okay, I'm gonna put a sugar in here, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I'm so excited. To try this. Well, I've had blackberry cobbler before, of course. But I've never had raspberry cobbler or a strawberry cobbler. All right, there we go. All right, y'all, we're gonna let this come to a boil. We'll be right back. We're gonna tighten it with cornstarch. We're gonna get our pie dough getting ready in the in the bottom of the my uh called my cobbler dish, and we'll be ready to roll. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Y'all see how that's boiling? Now all I'm gonna do, y'all, we're gonna put some cornstarch in here. And we're gonna tighten this up, y'all. Y'all know the y'all know the drill. Or my, yeah, when it comes to my cobblers, y'all. Y'all already know. You've been watching me long enough. I'm gonna thicken this really, really good, because you'll see here in a second. I got some other berries over here that I saved out that I didn't put in here completely. So I wanna make this really, really thick because it's gonna water down just a little. Rest of that in there, y'all. Rest of that in there, just like that. I'm gonna turn this down a little. Look at that, y'all. Now, we're gonna throw that vanilla in there, y'all. Right at the end. And that's that. That is that. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Look how pretty that is. T.I. is. Oh, yeah. That make a pretty color. I got the strawberries still held up, but you see the raspberries and blackberries kind of disintegrated on me. So we're going to move over here. See how I put those berries in there, y'all? So we're going to pull this in here. Just so. Get all this goodness out of here, y'all. Ain't gonna waste nothing. All righty. Get in there. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all. Oh, man, that tastes good. Okay. 
Now, y'all remember my little little gadget I got for him? Let me move this corn starch out of the way. From, uh, I almost said House of Pies. Amazing Cakes. I'm going to see if I can do this topping for this with my little fancy lattice cutter thingy. The little lattice cutter I got from him. Them a hole in here with this. Okay, a few of them still in there. Pop those out. And I'm gonna put this on top of the cobbler. Like so, get out the way. Let me get this over here where y'all can see what I'm doing. See that? I'm gonna just lay that on top of that. Look at that, y'all. Chef Jeffy getting fancy. Chef Jeffy getting fancy here, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Chef Jeffy done getting fancy. You know how the fancy police out here. People ain't gonna like me. Chef Jeffy think he's fancy now. <laughs> All right. There we go. There we go, y'all. See that? Can y'all see that? Can you see that? All righty. All right, now I'm going to put my butter on here and sugar. And we're going to put this in the oven, y'all, just like before. 350 degrees. About 45 minutes all it's going to take on this bad boy. Okay. Put a little butter packs on there. And so, a little as much as you want. Put a half a stick on there. Uh, Y'all, I'm telling you, I can't wait to dig into this. Okay. I'm going to put a little sugar, sprinkle a little sugar on top. A fourth of a cup or so on top of there, just like that. With that nice shine on there. We're going to, like I said, 350 degrees, y'all. About 45 minutes. Until it's nice and bubbly, golden brown. And we'll be good to eat here. Old school berry cobbler. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. Just took the cobbler out of the oven. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. And you know well, good and well, y'all, that I cannot cut into this yet. But look how pretty and golden brown that is. Nice and bubbly. That's what you want. And got, like I said, got a little fancy on y'all. Got my little lattice cut right there. So... Anyway, y'all, I'm going to let this sit up at least 30 minutes, 45 minutes, let it all come down and calm down. Because if you actually cut in it right now, it's going to be very liquidy. People don't realize, oh, that ain't... No. When it's hot, it's very liquidy. Once it's cooled down, over, like if you let it set up for three, three, four hours, it's going to firm up really, really good with the corn sauce. So anyway, I'm going to step off here, let it cool, and we'll be back. And we'll have a bowl of this. I don't do ice cream and cobbler. Y'all know that. I just cannot do it. To me, ice cream waters down the product. It's just a chef way. This is my chef talking. And it waters down the product, and you don't get the fully taste of the cobbler. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. I let this cobbler cool about a half an hour or so. Look at this, y'all. Get up in there. Get up in there and look at that. And the raspberry is pretty much disintegrated. But you got a few blackberries, and of course the strawberries, hell, they say more than any of them because your know, strawberries is a, is a firm of a berry. But look at that, y'all. Like I told y'all, I don't do no ice cream on my cobbler. I don't understand it. Whatever I have, I do it from a chef's point of view. When I eat cobbler, I want to taste the whole experience, the whole flavor. When you add the ice cream to it, it waters it down. And you don't know what you taste. It's like a, to me, a soupy mess. This is my opinion. I've already had this opinion. Even ice cream and cake. Do not put no ice cream on my cake. It waters it down. It ruins the whole experience. And you don't taste nothing but a glob of mush. Yeah, that's just my. That's just a chef. When I'm eating food as a chef, 
I want to taste what I make. I don't want to mix too much stuff together. That's just my opinion. So, to each his own. I know many of my friends want ice cream on their cobbler. So, anyway, enough talking. All right, y'all. Let's get in here. Get a little berries on there. Got it. You know it's about that what? Crust. You know it's about that crust. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that crust on there. Focus. Focus. Come on. Focus, y'all. There we go. Going in. Oh my goodness, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, wow. You know what I like about this? It's sweet. It's not really, really sweet. You know why? Because the berries are counteracting with a little sourness to it. It's a perfect balance. Wait, focus there. All right, y'all. Come on, going in. Oh, wow. And that's why I put berries in that didn't mix with the filling or I have that contrast of texture in the cobbler. Not that cobbler, y'all. Let me tell you about this. Like most cobbler, I eat this thing ice cold. Sure can. I ain't cold out of the refrigerator. Just like a pudding. I used to do that with my mom. Used to make them with me as a kid. Of course, the next day it'd be in the refrigerator. I didn't need to warm it up. I scoop it in a bowl. Eat just like a cold pudding. It's absolutely amazing. Anyway, let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow me on the social media account Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, TikTok, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2024. Stop wishing, start doing, y'all. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.